I have come to understand that there is now a Darth Vader shower head, which I'd like to be able to use. Unfortunately, I don't think any of our showers are currently compatible with the head, which means only one thing. I'm going to have to change the showers at home to be able to accommodate the Darth Vader shower head. A lot of you have been tagging me to let me know that this Darth Vader shower head exists. It's probably going to go down in history as another Darth Vader toaster. To alleviate any possible confusion, I'm going to take a picture of my Darth Vader shower head sitting next to my Darth Vader toaster. Assuming I can find a Darth Vader shower head. May the force be with me. And you too. I do have to say that it's really nice when y'all let me know that something exists, because sometimes I wouldn't know otherwise. Instead of saying hello, you say, hey, here's a Darth Vader thing, or a Star Wars thing, or something you're probably interested in. I think, hey, there's a new Darth Vader thing should be the new hello. But first, I need to see if I can find a better bandage for the tip of my thumb. Who knew that Nerf guns could be so dangerous when you were putting them together? Well, I do now. It hurts a little. Not a lot. I'll be okay, so long as I can find the proper bandage. Success! It's a tiny waterproof bandage. It's on, and it should stay on. The issue I've had with having a bandage on my thumb is not being able to operate my touchscreen devices as easily. They need to invent touchscreen friendly bandages. Do you know one thing that they don't need to invent? Star Wars bandages with collectible tins! I've had the Darth Vader box for quite some time, at least one of them. Oh, look at this! Seems that I have the other one now. The one with C-3PO on the other side. They didn't have a Darth Vader on the tin, so I went with the next best thing. His TIE Fighter. Unfortunately, my boo-boo is not conducive to using one of the Star Wars bandages. I could always cut myself somewhere else. And with this, I will never smell like Sith. And look! Technology! Uh huh? You know, for people who say I never talk tech anymore, even though I do on a daily basis? I'd say the day's off to a pretty good start. I was even there when Jedi woke up this morning. She was pretty happy to see me. I was happy that she was happy to see me. We were happy together. It's a happy family. Hmm, I am hungry. I don't know why. And this just arrived. Jedi's special Christmas gift from her Vader this year. I'm not sure I want to show you yet. You'll have to wait. Just like Jedi. Trust me, it is good. Unique. Special. Just like her. Let's go home. <laughs> yes, we should probably water it. And we also turned off the fireplace the other day. It's cold. Thank you, Kevin Parson, for sending along two prototype H24 Darth Vader cars. I appreciate it. They will be added to the collection. The packaging is pretty much pristine, which is exactly what I was looking for. Thanks again. I think I'll make the unboxing of the Magic Apple products today live for everybody. It'll be like a bonus. Pretend you don't see this until Christmas morning, okay? I want mommy to see it first. Plus, you can open it up to see how it works. Do you need Daddy to wind it? I know I'm crying, but I just... I think all the babies don't have daddies. Or they have daddies and just don't do special things for them. I, just, I really appreciate you. 
I know, it's, it's really sweet. <laughs> we appreciate mommy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. <laughs> and these are happy tears. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll learn. Mommy cries a lot. <laughs> Yeah, you got one special daddy, don't you? <laughs> ah! Someone got a new blanket! It's soft and warm! Oh, I'm sorry, it's a royal plush rash shell throw. Rash shell. Rash shell? The hell? It's a blanket. And it was on sale! Just like some other stuff. Like this Stormtrooper spoon and the Darth Vader fork. Jedi can use the spoon. The fork stays in the play shop. As does this tiny stocking. Ow. During the live broadcast of the Locker Gnome Daily Report this afternoon, I felt really, really irritated right here. And I'm not sure if it's red because I was scratching it or if something scratched me or bit me. Ow. Still kind of hurts. I don't think a bandage is going to fix that, even if it is a Star Wars bandage. This is a magazine. A dedicated magazine to the epic saga. The whole thing is about Star Wars. I just saw it sitting there at the grocery store. And who says print is dead? I do. Sometimes. There are exceptions to the rule. When Diana was out shopping for Jedi earlier, this caught her eye, and given that she started to hug my Darth Vader Build-A-Bear, we thought we'd get this for her. It's a First Order Stormtrooper, and it's about to be Jedi's. She's kind of like my little Stormtrooper. There. She'll hang out until Jedi's up from her nap. These new diapers go on very easily. <laughs> It looks good. Aww. Yay! Oh, thank you. <laughs> Here, go put it on Daddy's head. <laughs> no. I die. <laughs> There's a reason Daddy's wearing these pajama bottoms right now. Any guesses as to why? <laughs> he's so soft. Oh. Oh, okay, I'll hug him. Oh, he's so soft. I'm very proud to say that I balled the cookie dough. <laughs> that came out of a container pre-made. Ready? Ready. <gasps> I kind of want one now. They're so pretty. It's exactly how I wanted them. Ta-da! Mom taught me to ball well. <laughs> this is the perfect cookie. Yeah. Can I try it? <laughs> Uh oh. Hey Jedi, can I have a third cup of coffee before I go to bed? Thank you. She said I could.
Thanks again for taking the time to watch today's vlog, as well as remembering to like the video before you leave, not to mention watching the other videos across every one of our channels, and for interacting with us when and wherever you can, across social, and supporting us in whatever ways that you see fit. We'll see you tomorrow!